Hey everyone, welcome to Data Materials. I am Atul and in this video we are going to discuss how we can evaluate a list of conditions within our calculated field in Looker. So we are going to use case statement in our calculated field to evaluate a list of conditions. So as you can see here in my table, I have the column named as North America and Europe. But if I will show you my raw data, then I have 6 columns over here, Category, Date, quantity sold, unit price, last bought price and change in price. So I do not have any column which basically specifies that in which reason these quantity has been sold. Now suppose you knew that category 1 and 2 belongs to a certain region, category 3 and 4 belongs to another region while category 5 belongs to any other region in the world. You do not have that in your data and you need to create a segmentation or a category in your dashboard where you can show region wise total quantity sold on a day to day basis. In such a scenario you have to use case statement in your calculated field to show or reflect data on your dashboard. So before we use this case statement in our report let's understand about this case statement a little. So case is a conditional statement which evaluates a list of condition and returns the first matching result expression. Case defines one or more condition and returns a result when a condition is met. You can also define a default result if none of the condition is met. So as you see here, we have case written over here. This is the first keyword. Then we have the when keyword in which we basically specify the condition. Similarly, you can have multiple when conditions or n number of conditions within this case statement which will get evaluated when this formula will be implemented. Then you have a default else statement which you will use to define a default result if none of the conditions are met. And at last you have this end statement which basically specifies that your case statement has ended on this line. So now you understood about the syntax of this case statement. Let's understand this data first and then we are going to implement over here in our dashboard. So you have categories, 5 different categories over here, category 1, 2, 3. 4, 5. So suppose category 1 and 2 belongs to Europe, category 3 and 4 belongs to North America and category 5 belongs to any other region except both of these two regions which is Europe and North America and you have to classify these categories into regions. So in such a scenario you have to use case statement within your calculated field so that you can create a segment of different values based on a list of conditions. So let's go and create a calculated field using the case statement in this report. So first of all what I'm going to do is that I'm going to click on this edit button and I'm going to add a new page over here. So from my first page I'm just going to copy these headers and put it over here. Let's rename this as region wise quantity sold comparison. And let's keep it as region wise quantity sold summary. So the first thing that I need to do over here is that I need to create a table in which I need to show that if the category is 1 and 2 then it is in Europe and if category is in 3, 4 it is in North America and rest of all the categories will go to other region. So I'm going to add a table over here. So to add a table you can come over here and add a chart and select any table. For this table I'm just going to select a pivot table because this is the most appropriate thing or appropriate table for me in this case. So as you can see over here in my pivot table by default Looker has taken a data source and it has taken date range dimension, row dimension and column dimension. right? So you can see over here that we have North America and Europe because in the starting of the video, I have shown you this graph and this table where I have already created this region column. That's why this region column is getting appeared over here in column dimension. But we are going to create a new calculated field with region which will specify those three regions which is Europe, North America and other region based on these categories. Okay, So you can create 
your calculated field either in a specific visualization wizard or you can create a calculated field in your data so there is some limitations with the creating calculated field in your visualization wizard is that if, if you create a calculated field in your graph or chart or your, any table then you will be able to use that column within that table only or within that chart only but if you create a calculated field in your data then you will be able to use that new calculated column in any chart so first of all i'm just going to remove this region column from here and for row dimension i'm just going to remove this ca category and replace this with date because we have to compare each region on a day-to-day -day basis okay so the first thing to create a calculated field is that i have to come within this data section and i have to click on add a field then the first thing that looker will ask me is the name of the field so i'm just going to give region classification as my name and then i have to give the formula so as i have told you earlier that the syntax of case is that first you have to write case then you have to give the when condition so i'm just going to write when then you have to give the column on which this condition will be evaluated so for me the column will be category so i'm going to say when category in and i'm going to take a category from here which says category 1 you have to note that when you are giving the condition then all the strings will be within double quote so i'm just going to say when category in category 1 and category 2 then classify it as europe then i'm going to give another when condition which says when category is in category 3 and category 4 then put the value as north america or classify it as north america else if there is any other category apart from 1 2 3 and 4 then you can categorize it as other regions and then you have to give a end statement saying that at this line my case is case function is ending or at this particular line my case evaluation should end now if i scroll down then you will see that you have a save button over here and over here you have this green tick mark which says formula syntax is valid so you can click on save and then you have to click on finish the moment you will click on finish you will see that you have a new column in your data which says region classification so this region classification is created on looker side it does not affect your raw data which is over here so whenever this raw data will get refreshed then this region classification will get updated so what i can do now is that i can select this pivot table and i can take this region classification and put it as my column dimension and within this metric section i can remove this record count and take this quantity sold so now you can see that on a day-to-day -day basis i have three regions so this north america specifies category 1 2 sorry this north america specifies category 3 4 this europe specifies category 1 2 and this other region specifies any other category apart from 1 2 3 4 now similarly you can use this calculated field in any graph so i'm just going to create a time series graph over here and i'm going to put it over here now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to take the dimension as this region classification so for this region classification i don't think that this time series graph is a good example so let's take a normal graph this graph bar graph basically and within this bar graph i'm going to change the dimension with this region classification okay and you can see for each reason now we have the total quantity sold now if you want to add date wise comparison what you can do is that you can take a time series for example 
and within this time series in this breakdown dimension you can select region classification and now if I go to view and click on North America then you will see that my entire dashboard over here has been refreshed or I have selected 5th of March only so let me unselect it and let me select North America over here and you will see that you have a time series for North America and you can compare with other regions by selecting multiple columns so basically this is how you can evaluate a list of condition using the calculated field with the help of case statement in Looker or Google Data Studio. Happy learning and see you in the next video.